most of the items I'm using for this project came from the Dollar Tree, except for the mini shot glasses. I purchased mine at the grocery store since our Dollar Tree was out of them. Um, next, you're going to need spackle. I have seen people use ping pong balls or marbles for this project. I'm going to use these bells, which I actually had on hand, and they fit perfectly. There are two reasons that you'll want to put something inside the cup. First is you'll want the ornament to have some weight inside of it. And another reason is when you're filling it up with spackle, you're not wasting so much. You also need a cake decorating kit. Or if you don't have one, you can use a Ziploc bag. Um, I'll also be using decorating ribbon, paper straw, ornament hanger, paint, and glitter. The first thing I'm going to do is cut some of the ribbon and I'm going to glue the ribbon inside the cup. This will be so the ornament can hang. I'm also going to do a few with the hook so you can see the two different ways of making them. I'm going to use my glue gun and, my, and glue the ribbon right here. You can use a popsicle stick to push the ribbon down. I'm also going to add a little glue around the cup to keep the bell inside. I just opened the spackle and I took a spoon and just started mixing the spackle. If it's dry, you can add a teaspoon of water. I'm also going to add some white acrylic paint to help brighten the color. I think I used close to a teaspoon of paint um, then you'll want to make sure to mix it well and you'll want the consistency of frosting. Next, I place the frosting piping bag inside a plastic cup and I'm going to fill the bag with the spackle. I used all the spackle, which I think was close to half a cup. You'll want to make sure that the spackle is pushed to the bottom of the bag. And then I'm going to remove the piping bag from the cup. And then you'll want to squeeze any of the remaining spackle to the bottom and try to get the most and try to get most of the air out. Now we're ready to put some frosting per se on each cup. I also taped the ribbon back so I wouldn't get any of the spackle on the ribbon. Then gently just start frosting your cup. On the cup with no ribbon, I inserted the ornament hanger inside the frosting. I cut about an inch and a half of the paper straw and I inserted it into the frosting. On one of the cups, I drizzled paint over the top of the spackle for the syrup and then decorate with whatever you want to use. I used glitter. And the last thing I did was create a Starbucks label and I printed it onto sticker paper and applied it to the cup. 
if you don't want to make your own design, you can probably buy something off of Etsy. You'll want to wait 24 hours for it to completely dry and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial today. If you don't already subscribe to my channel and you think this channel is for you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. If you already are a subscriber, thank you for watching my video. And if you like today's video, don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. Thanks guys. See you in the next video. Bye.